Remember, it is important to recognize the dangers of downed power lines and to allow trained professionals to eliminate the potential hazards. Never approach or attempt to move downed power lines as the results can be fatal. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere, but fuck nowhere. For all of y'all guys watching, we need an intervention. We need help. We need serious mental help. But fuck nowhere. Definitely a different kind of polymer there. Because we have fucking issues. Welcome back for episode 2 of this series, where we look for old insulators and document the gradual upgrade of a 69,000 volt transmission line. After several decades, these old wood poles are now being replaced with modern steel poles equipped with bigger cable and larger insulators to combat harsh climate and energy demand. The green glass UFOs are on the ground now. Join us on this batshit crazy journey before these old relics are gone for good. Fuck. Lifted there. Fucking nuked one. Oh, just one nuked one. I grew up around these old poles, wondering what these green UFOs were, and never thought I'd be seeing them laying on the ground years later. There's a polymer one there. Oh, little middle thing. Yeah. And another one. There's another one. There's a kind of like a bowl. Rubber. Yep. And there's a, I think that might be my first complete clamp. I don't even know. We're gonna pick those up and all the rest of those and we'll be uh we'll be out of here all right he doesn't have uh muck boots on so he has to take the the paved road <laughs> yeah there are bells once again a little muddy there you go Go. Wow. You got some shoes. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Insulator off tops. There it goes. Super fun. 
boat there. So, here's our next pile. Ready to go? Oh, these ones, these ones are nuked. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Nothing left of those, except for a couple. Out on these hunts, I often find appreciation for the simpler things and cannot help but to feel real again. It can be quite therapeutic. Regardless of an insulator's value, just finding them scattered about is enough to make the trip worthwhile. Here stands the mighty Ohio Brass Silicone Polymer Rubber Composite Type ins Lime Post Insulator. Here's before. And after. Now this circuit is insulated to 138,000 volts and is ready for decades of service, if we are all still here. At some point, I need to film a collection update as it is quite large and was suggested by a viewer. That'll be sometime this spring. Trivia question time. If the system voltage is 69,000 volts between each conductor, what is the phase to ground voltage on this system? First one to answer correctly, with details, gets a shout out in the next episode. As always guys, thanks for watching.